Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well. So, this video is going to be part of the Foodora series of where you're following me along as I'm doing deliveries. But I thought I'd change it up today and actually do it as a voiceover and then show you the full process on how a, a full order works from start to stop. So, here we go. I've already pressed the accept button, so I'm heading down to a local burger joint, which is just next to this stadium on our left. And we've now arrived at Go Grilla, which is a pretty awesome name for a burger van. Um, right, so parked up the bike and we'll check the app and see how much time is left for the order to be made. This one was already down to zero minutes, so I could basically go straight to the counter, ask politely what, when is my number ready? And this one was already in the bag, good to go. So she's just thrown some napkins in and we have the bag. Perfect. This guy was looking a little bit suspect. I mean, he looks like an upstanding citizen, but I was just a little bit curious. Like once your bike is left unlocked, even just out of sight for maybe 10 seconds, there's that slight bit of paranoia that I think is kind of natural with any, any cyclist. But he was a nice chap. So food's in the bag, we're all clipped in. I've now selected, picked up and looked at the GPS to see where I'm going. This is actually quite a short delivery, which is nice. Just up one hill and yeah, we're almost there already. Just finally up here and swing a left. So now we are on the street for delivery. I sometimes have a bit of an issue flicking between my phone and then actually looking at the number on the buildings to make sure that we're in the right place. So quick loop back there, but now we're at the door. Um, yeah, so that was pretty simple, nice and short. More often than not, they're a lot longer than that and a lot more hills. But this one was yet again, lucky in the sense that the buzzer wasn't working, but I give her a call and there she is. So, I mean, that was awesome. I mean, you can't really get better than that. That means no stairs. You don't have to worry about leaving your bike. You don't have to lock your bike up. It's, I mean, this is almost the perfect drop off at that point, right? Like you just open the bag and there she is. So yeah, happy days. And we have another happy customer. So as I'm faffing about and clipping the bag up, next task will be to select dropped off. I usually tend to get myself completely ready before I click the drop off button, just so then I can get moving straight away. Um, yeah, I, I like to try and be as quick as possible as far as like with the apps to be in constant movement. I think it's just enabling you to actually just get more and more orders and you know, getting the ball rolling a bit quicker. So quick filter through the cars there and we have an Italian restaurant called the Italian Jog, which we are going to right now. Happy days, walk in, no customers. Always a good start. So, boss man behind the counter, there's one with the phone, and the other boss man is basically ready with my pizza that I'm picking up. So I just tell him the order number, number 27 I believe this was. And yeah, happy days, right we're out. Pizza and sauce one of probably the most eaten things in Norway. So what I also like to do here, a little trade secret, is to always sleeve a pizza with the bags that you actually use for like the general deliveries instead of pizzas, like the ones that come in bags. The last thing you want is to have a big old sloppy mess inside the bag. So what this enables is kind of like a, a barrier between that actually happening in the main cavity of the bag. So. Yeah, pizzas especially, if they haven't been, or if they've recently cooked, then the cheese and the oil hasn't set properly. So 
you can potentially have a big old cheesy oily mess in your bag which just is depressing to say the least for you and for the customer so yeah little trade secret for you so on our way to the customer I've already put in the GPS and we are moving So what I've found as well is the GPS doesn't always show you the quickest route. Um, sometimes it will show you like the route by car or the route by foot and sometimes by bicycle as well. But I tend to find that because I, I know Oslo well and this might apply to you in whatever town you're in that you might actually know a quicker route or you can see the route and then adapt and change and make it a little bit faster for you. So always be thinking on your toes here. Like this guy, did the cheeky overtake in the middle of a bridge full of thick people. The inner road cyclist in me is not gonna accept this at all. So yeah, I'm smoking him on the hill, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, he sees me, he gets worried. And I put down some heavy watts and he's gone. But it's all banter, he was smiling and I was smiling, so it's all good. So we are almost at now at the customer. Just a couple more rows to go down. Zipping through some back streets. It's actually a beautiful day, which is so nice. I mean, this the joy of this job is unbelievably weather dependent. Um, for me, I find as well, if I, like say, if I was to forget my headphones, then, I mean, don't get me wrong, I could definitely do a shift without headphones, but it makes life so much easier if you've got some music or a podcast to listen to. Um, yeah, it's, it's a game changer in my eyes. So we're now on the street that we need to be on. So quickly flick the GPS over to street name so I can actually see what numbers I'm meant to be looking for. And now it looks like I'm slightly in the wrong place. What we find in Oslo as well is that where the corner buildings lay, a lot of the buildings have like numbers in between. So the GPS might not take you to the exact street, it'll take you to the building and you might need to just go around the corner. I like that. That's good timing right there. And I've been very lucky on both of these in the way that both of the customers are actually able to come and meet me at the door. I mean, more often than not, I find the fact that I have to take four or five flights of stairs to get to the customer's door. Um, yeah, so these are two rare ones. It doesn't always happen like this, but I, I thought I'd just show you these because they were the, the cleanest and the quickest of the footage that I've got. And yeah, that was basically it. She was at the door, picked up, happy days. Just zip up the bag and, and get yourself moving. Um, I hope you liked the video. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want more of these or more of me. Um, like and subscribe and, yeah, take it easy.